Moving to my third point though, who needs to see this? I think that the people that will get the most benefit out of this movie are heterosexual men. What's good everybody? Welcome to Whole Views. Thank you for clicking the thumbnail. Today we're going to be discussing three points about the film Good Luck Leo Grant. Please, 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 I encourage some conversation to go on in the comments section. I'm talking about these three points. First point is going to be about the marketing. Second part is going to be about the quality of the film and why it is how it is. And then third is going to be about who needs to watch this movie. Starting with the marketing, my best friend, I call him my producer, we, we talk about everything. He sends me things on Instagram, on Twitter, we have discussions. He sent me this trailer a few weeks back. The trailer, to me, the first one, first piece of marketing that we saw was very sensual. Uh, it was very serious. It, it made it seem as if we would be approaching a very serious topic and then seeing it done in a very classy, respectable way. But that was the first trailer that we saw. The next trailers that we saw were on Twitter and this movie was being marketed as a rom-com, standard rom-com. They was using language like sex positive, which truly I don't even know how it applies. It's, it's grown adults, I don't, I don't understand exactly what they mean by saying that, that term sex positive. But we saw that all over the place and it looked like a standard lighthearted rom-com. If I'm being honest, this movie is more of that first trailer than it is any of the second or third or other stuff that we saw uh, talking about the film Good Luck Leo Grant. I think they changed the marketing for the purposes of like getting eyes on the product. Maybe everyone wouldn't be into a serious, heartfelt, deep, introspective type movie and would be more into some standard fluffy rom-com stuff. There is a bit of rom-com element to it. You know, it is a romantic film and it does have some funny moments throughout, but it's actually very serious subject matter. It's taken very seriously. I don't think the film itself take its, takes itself too serious, but I do feel like they approach a serious subject in a respectful, classy, elegant way. And the vibe of the first trailer to me really captures the film much better than any of the other marketing that I saw. And this was probably like a month and a half before the film came out. So that's just kind of where I fall on the marketing. The marketing matters. Cause if you sell me a standard rom-com, I see that second trailer or that third trailer. If I see those things first, I wouldn't take the time to watch. After seeing that first trailer that made it seem heartfelt and thought provoking, I said, you know what? I think I, I think I kind of want to watch this one. And I was pleased with what I saw. So we'll take that point and transition into the quality of the film. I gave the movie a seven on my scale. Uh, you can look at my scale in the, in the description, but I think it's really good. And the reason I think that the movie is really good is because it's based on two single performances. We have Daryl McCormack and we have Emma Thompson. That's it, that's pretty much the whole movie. And if you like their performances, like I enjoyed their performances, then you're gonna enjoy the movie. And if you don't, then you won't. Uh, I think that the movie is capable of being good, it's having a really, really small budget, a small set, just a very small film. Uh, it has the ability to be good because Emma Thompson is so good. Daryl McCormack has the opportunity to be so good as he was throughout the film because Emma Thompson was so good at what she was directed to do. Sophie Hyde directed this one. I really liked what she did with the film that we ended up getting. Emma Thompson did such a great job at being shy, at being embarrassed and being vulnerable, which made Daniel McCormack, uh, Daryl McCormack's confidence just exude all the more. So I really liked the movie. I really liked the way that they approached the messaging in the movie. Everything I feel like was done well. Moving to my third point though, who needs to see this? I think that the people that will get the most benefit out of this movie are heterosexual men. Uh, the reason why I say that is because I, and again, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming, because I don't have no experience, but I'm assuming that gay men are more apt to have conversations and respond without judgment and make changes accordingly. This movie for the heterosexual men, if you've never been in a sexual relationship that had any kind of trouble to it, this is how you fix it. This movie is like an instruction booklet to me 
as to how you make adjustments in your sexual relationship. Uh, if you don't know what it takes when you hear people say things like marriages work, but you don't understand what they mean, watch this movie. This movie is largely the work of what should be done inside a married couple. Uh, if you know, if you saw the movie and you're watching this review or you're watching this video talking about the film, you under, I think you should understand. I think you should understand because there was so much that Emma Thompson, her late husband her in the film did not do. He didn't do the work and she didn't push back for him to do the work of being married and making sure both people are happy within the marriage. Again, if you don't know what it looks like for that to occur, this movie is a perfect picture of what needs to be done. And I think heterosexual males are the ones who need to look at this, observe, look at Leo's body language, how when things were said, no matter how outrageous, there was not much change. The body language was, was static. It exuded confidence. Uh, he was very reassuring. Just all the things that you need to make a woman feel comfortable. If you don't know, this is kind of like a little instruction manual, man. I thought it was good. I thought it was very good. And I think men who just don't know what's wrong, why she always complaining, why she not happy with this and this and this. It takes the work of conversation. It takes the work of, this movie felt like therapy almost. It felt like watching four encounters with a therapy session attached to each one, right up to the very end. So just a random comment I wanna make about the movie and this is like my biggest thought. I did not think Emma Thompson would go as far as she went in this movie. I did think that there would be some nudity. I did know that that would happen. Didn't know that she would go as far as she went in the film. And this movie is not nearly as sexual or as shocking as you would think until maybe the last 10 minutes. And when it gets to that point, they go all the way. And I just didn't think that we would get there. Never thought I would see Emma Thompson like that. Yeah, I think that's all the thoughts that I have for this one. Thank you so much for clicking the thumbnail. Uh, thank you for watching this far. Enjoy yourself. Guard your heart. Go watch something good.